So for today's viewing pleasure, we are trying out the Camp Chef Camp Oven. Uh, picked this up at Camping World. They had a incredible sale. <laughs> Every Good Sam member um, gets 50% off clearance. So this was normally, I think, $350. Don't quote me on that. Somewhere around there. I was on clearance for $230. I had 50% off that. So I got this for $115. No tax. Because uh, I bought it in New Hampshire. So this is something, it's really, it's a cool little item. Um, two top burners and the oven but because i think everything's too good to be true i've got a uh, oven thermometer there and we are going to see how accurate the actual oven temperature is uh, of the thermometer that comes with it it's, which is in the front so it's a pretty cool little setup honestly um, i love the idea of it uh, let's see, uh, I'm going to bake a couple of potatoes and uh, see how it works. We're going to, as again, test the calibration. Now I've got this hooked up my 20 pounder with the adapter. I'll take you around the back. The uh, regulator screws on the back. Uh, that was in the oven during shipment and it was, you know, wire, it was tied to the oven rack. I'm concerned about putting it back in there because that's a glass front and if you happen to move it around or bounce it around and that regulator um, hits that glass it's going to break it. So we've got we to gotta devise a way to transport that safely. It shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, so let's grab some potatoes and uh, get bacon. So first off we're going to light this up and preheat it. So to light the oven, well first off to, to light the top burner like that you can see no problem has a nice little sparker pretty pretty academic so the oven same thing turn it on nice little nice little safety thing here so you don't put it in just to make sure that's running nope it's not running so let that time you can look down through the little hole you can also light it with a match I mean a uh, aim and flame if you have to so let's uh, preheat this to 350 I'm going to turn it down to about there, and as you can see, zero, zero, right there, so, uh, I apologize for the lens, it's a little clogged up, the humidity is something else down here, but as you can see, it's, it's at as low as it'll go. Well, not bad, it's only been about five minutes, and we're already up to, uh, we got 150 plus, 150 plus in there, so, so far so good. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes, between 10 and 15 minutes, can't tell you exactly, but this is, there is some controversy. Uh, the factory temperature gauge is saying 450, and the one inside is saying 350. I want to believe that one. As much as I want that one to work, I want to believe that one because I'm down to almost my lowest setting. So if that at almost low setting is actually 450, this thing's useless because you can't bake anything below 400, and, you know, 400 degrees. So she's locked in at 350. So I'm saying that's not accurate. This factory gauge, I don't believe is accurate. I, I know that one's accurate. That's my own personal it's saying 350 on that setting so I'm gonna crank it up a little bit I want about 450 so let's crank it up to about let's crank it up to about there and see where that takes us okay so right now we're just under we're right at 400 and the factory is five and a quarter I am uh, I am not I'm not buying that I'm not buying that um, so 400 Let's crank it up just a little bit more. Right about to there. It's not quite high, but it's it's getting close. Let's see if we can get this to 450 so I can bake a couple of potatoes. Okay, so what do we know about the Camp Chef Camp Oven? 
uh, it's pretty solid. The the factory temperature gauge on this model, this particular one, is not accurate. I have that needle buried up over 550, and inside my trusty thermometer uh, says 450. At this setting, which doesn't mean much to you, but it's I'd say it's about, let's say, 8 o'clock, whereas 9 o'clock would be high, all right? So if, if, if 8 o'clock is 450, and I know if I go to 9, maybe I can get 500, that's fine. My biggest fear was it wouldn't turn down low enough. Um, if I couldn't get that thing below 400, what good is it? I mean, you get at least get down to 350. In some cases, you might want 200 or 250 just to, you know, warming purposes. Now, granted, this isn't a, um, you wouldn't, you know, this, this is a camp oven, but still, if you're going to cook, you want accurate temperatures. So, I'm sitting here at 450, uh, which is pretty stable. So, I'm going to bake a couple of potatoes at 450 for 45 minutes. Um, a lot of people, this isn't a cooking video, but a lot of people when they cook potatoes, they'll put like a cookie sheet in the oven and put a grill, a cooling grill on top of that. My neighbor. And uh, essentially, uh, that does that does tend to bake it, uh, I think, more evenly, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to stick these right on the grill, uh, right on the rack, rather, because that's how I do my potatoes anyway. And when you're out camping, you may not have a big cookie sheet. So we're going to throw them in at 450, give it 45 minutes, and see what happens. All right, so how are we doing? We've got if, uh, 45 minutes sitting... Put about four and a quarter. So let's see if we can tender yet. Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, there's a di bunch of different ways to bake potatoes, uh, and I'd like to take this time to mention if someone has any uh, baked potato recipes please share in the comments as simple as it sounds there's a lot more to it so I'm going to shut it uh, shut this off okay I'm going to keep those uh, going to keep those warm while wow. a little more heat out of there like that All right It'll keep those warm. We're in them. I'm cooking up some pork chops on the uh, charcoal grill. And the other test we're going to do is I'm going to take a gallon of water in a stainless steel pot, and we're going to see how long it takes to boil a gallon of water. Official boil time on a gallon of hot water in a very thick stainless steel United States Navy uh, teapot. Now, many of you may know that stainless steel is not the best conductor when trying to apply energy. So, all right, 19 minutes, stainless steel. Um, what's that? That's a Moore's bush pot. Curious what it's going to take to boil that. So while well, we shut this one off. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the Moore's bush pot. Everybody knows what that is. Design, uh, well, <laughs> okay, funny story. So, no, it wasn't designed by Moore's Gohansky. It was used by Moore's Gohansky because it was just cheap and available. No other reason. And because he was a very practical, uh, if you remember Moore's Gohansky, uh, God rest his soul, very practical and uh, knowledgeable outdoorsman, to say the least. I don't even want to get into trying to tell you the, the amount of respect that that man uh, has. But this is the, the Moore's Bush Pot. It's... Uh, aluminum and black as you see it so it boils it, it, it conducts energy very fast so what that translates to is uh, less fuel uh, quicker boil time so we are going to we're going to light it up and we're going to see exactly how long it takes clock starts now okay so uh, it, we're out in Crow Wing, Minnesota, at Crooked Lake, uh, looking for northern pike. Um, the, the rest of the footage 
for the Camp Chef video, unfortunately, was contaminated, and for some reason I can't download it. So I got us up to the point where I put the Moore's Bush pot on, and I was trying to um, time how long it would take, and it took about nine or ten minutes. So just to give you some idea, the video was a little while ago, so I'm trying to, but it, I do remember that. And uh, essentially, you know, that's your boil time, and we just wanted to see how quick. You could actually boil water with the top. Now, obviously, it, we can. We also cooked some. Uh, put the cast iron fry pan on it. We cooked up some bacon and stuff. Overall, uh, pretty happy with that purchase. Um, I think it's uh, you know it's a small. If you do happen to get it, if it, you know the the inside isn't at you know it's a small oven. Let's face it, but you can get some like cookie sheets that will actually fit in there, you know, small cookie sheets, and you can do quite a bit of stuff with it. We cooked, uh, you can do cottage pies, uh, my wife makes bear meat cottage pies, uh, and venison cottage pies, and we put them in those little aluminum, you know, 9 by 11, whatever, 9 by 13 uh, pans, freeze them, and we put them in the oven and, you know, warm them up, and it works really good for that. So, overall, pretty happy with it. Uh, as I, st I did mention, the on, on my particular unit, the Therm the thermometer is n is not accurate. It was it was way off, and I used I had to use my uh, my own little thermometer inside. But it's it, at the end of the day, it's a pretty slick little oven. So I would definitely um, recommend if you've been thinking about it. And I remember seeing those for sale. I, I've seen them anywhere from three hundred to three fifty. Like I said, we got that from uh, Camping World, and uh, they were having a big clearance sale for all the Good Sam members. And uh, I, I got that thing out the door for 115 bucks. So that was a really good deal. Um, pretty pretty good quality. So anyway, it's part of our repertoire now. We take it, you know, in the van and we do some uh, do a lot of cooking with it. But uh, unfortunately, I, I I I'd hope to have some more video. But we ended up, uh, you know, we baked some potatoes in it. I did cook some. I baked some bluefish um, when we we're in the Outer Banks and. Uh, in Ritz crackers and, and an egg wash, and those are really good. Uh, so it, you know, it, it it did the trick. So, anyway, um, if you were interested in this particular thing, I I, uh, I hope I hope you found this helpful. Um, Meanwhile, I gotta get back to editing videos. So, we'll talk to you soon. <clears throat>